Social justice. Is it pro, poor, or against the poor? That is one of the simple questions arising from that term, a term often used in debate and even on election in tracing the poor or general public to ask for balance. But what is social justice? We will tackle a case where it was a race for the drivers of animal-drawn vehicles during the American occupation of Philippines. First disclaimer, our videos on laws are based on actual cases. The facts stated have been made public via publications and the internet Therefore, should any details, especially of the petitioner and or the defendant, offensive in any way whatsoever, kindly leave a comment or message us in our Facebook and we will be more than happy to oblige. In Maximo Kalalang, he challenges an implementation of banning animal drew vehicles in the main road of Manila for a certain time per day. Today, we call it truck ban or number coding for cars. He filed petition for a writ of prohibition against the respondents. A.D. Williams, as chairman of the National Traffic Commission, Dept of Public Work Official, Mayor, and Chief of Police of Manila. It is alleged that the National Traffic Commission recommended that animal drawn vehicles be prohibited from passing along Rosario Street from Plaza. Calderon del Barça to Dasmarina Street from 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and from 1.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. and along Rizal Avenue from Antipol Street to Echage Street from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. for one year from the opening of the Colgan Bridge to traffic. In pursuance of the provisions of Commonwealth Act No. 548 which authorizes said Director of Public Works to regulate and control the use of the traffic on national roads. Subsequently, such recommendation was approved. It shall be enforced by the mayor and chief of police of Manila that as a consequence of such enforcement, all animal-drawn vehicles are not allowed to pass and pick up passengers in the places above mentioned to determine not only of their owners but of the riding public as well. It is worth to note that at such time, there are already cars, bus, and other vehicles which is not included in the travel ban issue. Now is whether such prohibition is in violation of social justice. Hell, no. The promotion of social justice is to ensure the well-being and economic security of all people. The promotion of social justice, however, is to be achieved not through a mistaken sympathy towards any given group. Social justice is neither communism, nor depotism, nor atomism, nor anarchy, but the humanization of laws and the equalization of social and economic forces by the state, so that justice in its rational and objective secular conception may at least be approximated. Social Social justice means the promotion of the welfare of all people, the adaptation by the government of measures calculated to ensure economic stability of all competent elements of society, through the maintenance of proper economic and social equilibrium in the interrelations of the members of the community constitutionally, through the adaption of measures legally justifiable or extra-constitutionally, through the exercise of powers underlying the existence of all governments on the time-honored principles of self Alice Populo as Suprema Lex. Social justice, therefore, must be founded on the recognition of the necessity of independence among drivers and diverse units of a society and of the protection that should be equally and evenly extended to all groups as a combined force in our social and economic life. Consist with the fundamental and paramount objective of the state of promoting the health, comfort, and quiet of all persons, and of bringing about the greatest good to the greatest number. To summarize, in social social justice, there is no poor or rich, illiterate or educated, haves and have not. It is the balance and equivalent for all. Social justice in simpler terms is a roof over your head, a shirt on your back, food on the table, and a little dignity.